Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I, Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions over the previous weeks. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, then pop them down in the comment section underneath this video or any of our other videos, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the one thing that does matter is that if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, and then gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. But in the meantime, so that you don't have to wait for the video to come out, I do type out an answer in the comments section, as well as the community. They do help out as well, which is really nice to see. Um, so yeah, you do get an answer sooner rather than later. You don't have to wait for the video to come out. Uh, today, I'm answering a question from Ben Heckendorn about diving in cold waters. <laughs> So Ben says, I would love to dive in winter too. I don't get cold quickly, but I would love to know which you would recommend, semi-dry, neoprene dry suit or fabric. Dry suits are the most effective way to stay warm in cold water. Whether it's cold water or long dives, dry suits are the way to go. Semi-dry wetsuits are good, but Dry suits are just on another level and all top tier dive divers dive in dry suits for either long or cold water dives. Neoprene versus membrane is really up to you. They both have their pros and cons. So membrane, membrane dry suits are typically just a very thin layer of material. Uh, yeah, typically it's just that membrane. And the benefits of that are one, it's a lot lighter to a carry around uh, so you're not lugging around this really heavy dry suit uh, but also they're a lot less buoyant so because there's very little material it's not displacing very much water so it's a lot less buoyant compared to neoprene dry suits which are thicker materials and a bit more buoyant um, and it gives you full control over your warmth it, it is basically just a, a plastic bag that you put over and whatever's inside should hopefully stay dry and then you just wear different undersuits to change like what season so in the summertime you have something a little bit thinner uh, whereas in the winter time you have something a bit bulkier to add a bit more um, uh, more insulation downsides they're a bit more um, fragile so if you're diving somewhere like nasty uh, with lots of sharp jagged edges uh, if you dive a lot of shipwrecks or something and you find that you bump into things from time to time then yeah you can find that you can rip the dry suit and it is quite I wouldn't say easy but it's easier uh, compared to a neoprene dry suit otherwise uh, you have a you have a higher risk of pinches so with a membrane dry suit, especially if it's uh, a little bit too big for you and you have a very thin undersuit underneath it, if the folds of the, the membrane as you're descending, as it's like squeezing and crunching you down, if you don't equalize it by adding a bit of gas on the inside, it's, uh, it vacuum packs you in. And if you get a, 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 like a long straight fold, it can pinch your skin because you don't have a thick undersuit underneath it to like add as a bit of buffer and the, the material itself does uh, it's like create some folds, especially if it's a little bit too big because then you have excess material. So there's, there's that as a, a downside. Neoprene on the other hand, yeah, it's a lot heavier because you've just got all this extra neoprene, uh, which does make it more buoyant. So you need a bit more lead to carry it with it down, but it is itself like thermal it's it's got that extra buffer as well as your undersuit so you don't need as thick of an undersuit uh, they typically are a bit more form fitting so they're a bit more of, of a, a like natural fit they don't end up like folding over so you're a bit more streamlined in the water um yeah more buoyant um and they're a bit tougher as well because you have a few mil of neoprene to actually cut through uh, so you can get some minor abrasions and it's not going to leak so yeah you do get some benefits there um, which is better yeah is, is really up to you they they both exist there are more membrane dry suits out there now um, in like sheer numbers compared to neoprene most manufacturers will make two or three membrane suits and then one maybe two neoprene suits so the there's a general 
preference towards membrane. Uh, however, neoprene still exists. Some divers swear by it. Um, it just depends on the type of diving that you're going to be doing. If it's a bit more open water kind of stuff, you're not bumping into stuff, brushing in through things and trying to squeeze through little gaps, then membrane is a good choice. If you do need something a bit more roughy tufty then neoprene is usually the choice for you. But they, they both have their pros and cons uh, and they're both perfectly fine. It's just, yeah, you kind of have to weigh up what's more important for you. Semi-dries, semi-dries are good. They are very good at what they do, but they're just on a different level compared to a uh, an actual dry suit. They'll, they'll keep you dry for a good, 20 minutes maybe, depending on how well it fits and how much you're moving around in it. You'll actually stay dry on the inside because a lot of them have actual dry zippers. They have a lot of um, um, like comprehensive seals to keep the water from flushing in. And then even when it does go in, it, they've got that um, like fluffy lining that really grips onto the water to like absorb it. So it really slows down any water getting in. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still a wetsuit. Um, but again, that does have that benefits. Again, if you're diving in horrible, I remember um, watching a, a lecture from a very famous cave diver and I've forgotten his name, um, but they were like kilometers into this underwater cave system and they, they, they reach one sump and I forget what they called it, but it was like very sharp jagged edge rocks so they would change out of their dry suits in in this like air pocket section they'd get to this section take off their dry suits put on their semi dries pack everything up and then continue for this section in their semi dries because they knew that if they did damage their dry suits they're screwed they're like three or four kilometers into this cave system without a dry suit there's no way of getting out so they knew in this particular area they'd have to go in a semi-dry because if it does rip it's a wetsuit it still keeps you warm uh, just not as warm as a uh, as a dry suit so yeah dry suit is the way to go unless you're diving in particularly horrible sharp jagged areas which isn't the most pleasant at the best of times um, but then membrane versus neoprene it's up to you. Most divers nowadays end up going down the, mem the, the membrane route, and there's a lot out there. Some of them are breathable. Um, some have some very clever features. Um, so yeah, good luck choosing one. Um, but th there are a lot of good, clever dry suits out there. But unless you're diving somewhere roughy tufty, most divers end up with like a, a membrane dry suit. Then you have to choose all the different cuffs and all that kind of stuff, front or back entry. Uh, yeah, you've got lots of choices ahead of you, um, but hopefully that will lead you down, sort of cut out some of the, uh, the available choices so you don't go too insane trying to choose a dry suit. Um, but yeah, membrane dry suit would be my uh, would be my recommendation yeah dry suits much more efficient at keeping you nice and warm they do take some training so it's best not to just buy one off the shelf throw it on and jump in the water because now you have this air pocket on the inside which is good for keeping you warm however it changes your buoyancy and you have to think about how your entire body moves as well as this uh, like air pocket inside of the dry suit because you're using that to adjust your buoyancy as well uh, or as well as your BCD depending on your training agency. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's not something that you can just throw on and, uh, and go diving without any specialist training. It's quite important to get dry suit training. Um, but yeah, good question. Any other questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff, as well as check out our website, scubadivermag.com. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. <laughs>